consistent self-improvement everybody you are now listening to american gypsy podcast i'm your host classic and i'm here with my co-host gypsy and we are also here with our other co-host mark (laughs) and today we have a special guest jason washington he is a fitness expert author and founder of pushing healthy lifestyle or phl welcome to the podcast jason welcome Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. So to get started, I always like to ask, tell us a little bit about where you're from and how you got into, you know, what you do today. Uh, Again, my name is Jason Washington. Uh, I got into fitness. I'm I'm from Richmond, California, the Bay Area. For those that are not familiar with Richmond, Richmond, California, not VA. Richmond, California. You know, a lot of people always be like, oh, VA, Richmond, not nah, California. Small little city by uh, Oakland, Vallejo, Frisco, Berkeley, San Jose. So about 45 minutes from Sacramento. And um, I got into fitness my eighth, about, mm, I say about, high school that's when it started so I never was into pretty much um working out as you know elementary junior high but it started in high school playing basketball playing football also playing baseball but that's where it took off you know I was in the gym being a being that I was athletic it was already good I didn't really need the weights so I just use you know um the ability of my speed and um the quickness and we had pretty much a small gym I went to uh, El Cerrito High School um it's right by um Albany Berkeley Richmond and we had like a motel six type of gym not too much but you know we had our bench press squat machine and the uh, small stuff. We wasn't a big gym type of school, but since being living in Texas, I'm in Dallas, Texas right now. And the gyms that the high schools have out here is crazy. <laughs> like pretty much like a college type of gyms out here. But I, I started in high school and got to college and college was just a whole nother level. It was stuff I never seen and I never did and it was just like learn 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 or get left behind that's how I look at it you know I came in I probably was 182 going into college and it was just crazy to see that you have Olympic weights um all these different machines, rubber bands, different techniques to get faster, quicker from from high school. So basically, I had to pretty much start all over. So that's where it was my freshman year, 2000, learning the ropes to get bigger, faster, and stronger. So you you say you you play basketball in high school. Did you play in college as well, or? Um, no, I played football in college. Football in college, okay. But in, in, in high school, I played all three sports, baseball, basketball, and football. Okay, okay. So... But uh, go ahead. I, w- I was going to ask, did, did you happen to have to, like, work through... What's your strategy for working through injuries? Um, or just, you know, have well, work around injuries? I know we're doing... Even coming through high school. I did a little bit of... Um, I played baseball and played soccer. And my okay. knee, my knee went out in from playing high and catcher from an early age. And Got you. I had to switch up as far as even a lot of as, as far as even whole position went from catcher to to um to second base. And you know, mm-hmm. or that's that's mid high school. Even you know, to did you have injuries that kind of that you had to work around dealing with all three sports? Well, in high school, you know, when you was in high school, 
I didn't really get too many injuries because I guess it was just I played receiver. So okay. that's all I did. I didn't in football I played receiver. So I didn't I wasn't on special teams. I wasn't on I practiced it. I practiced it, practiced it, but I didn't do game time. So as a player, I knew how to make sure I stay away from contact or when to hit, when not to, and avoid pal pallets and those types of things. But injuries I had gotten was like normally from like finger jams or you know maybe a high ankle sprain, maybe. But that's from like a ditch in the grass, maybe. But normally that would be probably like. Um, ice um, stem treatment and pretty much a rehab just you know going from the morning after practice doing a little bit at home and then just pretty much continuing the cycle but basically I was always trying to stay healthy man just so I will refrain from um getting hurt so taking vitamins and making sure I'm eating the, the correct food and and just staying healthy. Is that something that basically runs in your family or is that something that you had to pick up on kind of on your own because you were an athlete um, growing up? Man, my, it's crazy, man. My mom, she was on it growing up. When I was growing up, she always take your vitamin C's, take this, and make sure you get a good breakfast, make sure you're doing this, make sure you're stretching. And it's like, I, I guess I picked up on that because even when I was in college, I would have away. She would be like, I'm sending you these vitamins. I'm, I'm sending you these bars I want you to try because she knew the importance of what was going on, what I was doing, what I was trying to get to in life. And then, like you said, yeah, I picked it up on the way, start, you know, reading and going to the vitamin stores, going, reading books and magazines and hearing from other sources and and I just kept with it. Now, to this day, I'm, I, I take all my vitamins. I'm eating pretty much healthy every day and through, through, the, through the week. I, I do have a cheat day. I do tell people to make sure yeah, you, know, you have a cheat day. You have a cheat day. Yeah, so yeah, because yeah, you don't want to just freeze yourself unless you're getting compared. Getting getting into the competing where you got to be on that strict diet for you know three to four months or however long those guys do when they compete, but yeah, I just kept it up and try to relay the message to others that's out there and keep it keep it moving because we do need to stay around, man. I don't know if you guys uh, heard about today a guy quarterback for um Steelers 24 years old he got killed in a car accident mm. and it's just like you can be gone any day you just yeah, you just don't you you never know whether it's being healthy or just like he was just riding around I'm not sure what time he was out but it's just things happen it, it yeah it, it's a, it's it's important man to to stay on a on a good strict diet and make sure you see your doctor and doing what's right yeah that's what's up uh, i agree 100 percent. and you know my thoughts and prayers go out to his family and yeah, friends because that was yeah. that was really a surprise when i did see that this very um, very and i wanted to i wanted to ask based on on what you were saying as far as your history starting out as a young athlete and then transitioning to college what happened after college that created this energy for you to say, I'm going to make this a lifelong commitment and create a brand that's attached to it? Well, it, it started after college. Um, I bounced around from Fresno State to uh, Fresno City. You know, I was a young kid coming from Richmond, California. And, you know, a, a lot of people know that some make it and some don't so it was a big surprise for you know my family and friends for me to go to college because growing up I never even thought about college you know, rest in peace my cousin Terrell Robert uh, Lamont Thompson also from El Cerrito these type of guys I looked up to as going through high school they 
was telling me like, hey man, we watching film with colleges and they asking, who are you? And so me being me, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I just was the kid running the street, playing around, uh, hanging at my friend house. And so it really took he when people was telling me these things. And so I went home, talked to my mom, like, mom, they tell me I can go to college. Like, you know, I just, all I knew was about getting a job, to be honest. And, mm. you know, if you don't get no job, you hustle. You know what I mean? So that's what I grew up around. So when people was telling me about going to college, I'm like, let me see what's up. So I kept playing year, a year later, senior year. I mean, through the junior year, high school, I was receiving probably like 20, 30 letters every day in the mail. So when I seen that, I, had, I said, it's time. It's time to, you know, get the grades right, uh, go to the class, number one, and, you know, respect respect my teachers and people around me because you never know what impact they can have on you towards, you know, a college coming to the school, asking how is, how is Jason Washington, how is, he, how, how is he as a person, how is he in class? So those are things that a lot of people don't know when you going to school and trying to get uh, education and being a student athlete. But everything, you know, when I, you know, I went to another school after Fresno State, went to Fresno City, um, and I was kind of lost and you know lost focus a little bit. But I, there again, I had people saying, "Man, you need to still be playing family cousins." And I swam to Fresno City, was doing good over there. Then that's how I came to um, Texas. Uh, went to a school in Wichita Falls, Midwestern State. Got a uh, scholarship there for uh, football. Played out there and, you know, did good. It wasn't enough pub at the school, but I ended up graduating with a degree in criminal justice, uh, back, uh, minor in uh, social uh, by, uh, sociology and um, I tried out for you know Canada NFL you know I had got some injuries once I got into college with you know ACL MC, MCL and it, it just was tough when you get an injury it's, it's tough you can lose focus you can lose sight and you know you can get down on yourself but I still was building myself so me being um an athlete, I was training to build myself back up, running in the water, just trying to do everything myself. So once, you know, I tried out for the pros and overseas, you know, it was, I didn't get a break. And, you know, it was a reality like, hey, you can't just think of on one thing in life. You got to have numerous of hustles. So there it was, you know, I had over, at the time I had over, 10 years of experience working out and being um, an athlete training for, you know, working out in college, then meeting trainers that train me and meeting coaches. And, you know, I was always like to give back. So it was more like, hey, like, well, let's, 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 let's start working out hard. So I, after all, I just always, after my, my, my college and trying out, I always was, working out and you know you going on trips you gotta look good so all those type of gears and gas was just more like like man let's let's take it to the next level and then I had people always asking like why you ain't on social media and I'm just like no nah, I don't do social media you know, I'm kind of a private person and you know friends would always like I would I I start making YouTube video. I have a YouTube page, uh, PHL Pushing Healthy Lifestyle tag for YouTube. Um, I just start making videos, uh, flipping tires in the gym, lifting two twenty five like fifteen twenty times, just doing different exercises and ladder drills, agility drills. And I had a sit down with a close friend of mine named Man, and he just like, bro, you need to. Take this to take this to the next level, man. Get your social media going, and come. We come up with a name, and we do this and do that. And I was like, man, but you know, I don't like social media. And he just like, man, that's just that's the next generation. That's the next move. So here we are, PHL pushing healthy lifestyles. So how has it been with uh, growing a business? We, you know, we've 
we've tried a few things, of course, and you know, we have our, our challenges. What are some of your, your biggest challenges with uh, growing a following or what are you, what's with somebody being new to social media, what's your view on social media so far? Man, social media is, is the biggest thing we have right now. Um, I always, I always have, you know, thoughts about social media, but you can't change it. Only thing you can do is grow. You gotta, you, you have to always have your business cards out. You always have to have your brand on. So I'm, I'm a walking billboard right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I got shorts on, PHLs, my slides on, PHL, shirt on, PHL, and you have to network. Meaning, if you go get your hair done or yo, you go get it cut or braided, however you are as a woman or a man that's running a business, you have to connect, get connection with your barber, get connection with wherever you're going. Somebody don't always see, regardless if you don't think so or not, but mainly I get, follow, I get followers off of commenting on people pages. I meet people that way as far as I might comment on uh, sports center a, a, a dunk or something people will say hey hit me like you know you into fitness da, da, da. we have a whole conversation next you know they follow me or my thing is we as business people we have to team up together and a lot of people is not willing to do that and what I mean by that is it can be a every Friday I always tell people this little scenario every Friday I can come on your, I can bring up your page and say, hey, follow them. Good insight podcast, good podcast. And if we can do that every Friday of the year, throughout the year, every month, somebody's going to follow you. Somebody's going to look and see, okay, PHL is representing them. So let's say, let me go on a page. He's always tagging him. Let me go on there. Let me keep going on there. Let me see what he's doing. So if we, if 10 people do that every day, you're going to get a follow. You're going to get a follow. But it's all about, you got to be hungry. If you want to be seen, you got to be hungry. You got to do whatever it takes. And you got, you have to work day in, day out. I mean, whether you, um, we get done after this, I'm going to work. I'm going to figure out something else, some, something else to do to make something else happen. I just don't stop right here. It's seven days a week. If you're not promoting, you ain't, you're not in. You're not in to win. And and it's crazy. I got into social media late. I'm, I, I think I only been on social media maybe, I think it's probably six, seven years now or lesser than that. And everybody think I'm a pro. I'm not even a pro at this. I just learn the, learn the game, learn the games of this stuff. I, I'm I'm a very good learner, so it's like I could take some from you and do it my way, and that's how it is. Do you also offer training, or is that a goal of yours in the future? I offer training, but only to people that that's serious. You have to be serious. You know, a lot of people. Um, take it as you know I, I want to go on a vacation and I'm want to look good for this but it has to be in you for me to train you it, you know I, I can I can take your money that's always tell people when I meet people I and I train them but I do offer training yes to ask your question but you have to be serious because a lot of people could start training and be done the, the same week because if, if, if you're not built for it, it's, it's just being put. Yeah, it's not in you. It's, like I always, I tell people all this time, like, I can do whatever I want to, but it may not be my job. Like, I can go cut grass, but I may not want to cut grass, so I'll pay somebody to do it. I can cut my own hair because I want to save that money. I may not can't go um, build a house, so I'm going to go pay somebody to build a house. But it's some that that we can do what we want to do, but you, you have to do it at the end of the day. You, you got to be in you. Yeah. So it's like I, I make sure I talk to clients and people I come across to make sure they're ready because it's like it's a job. 
you know, I don't want you to waste my time. And I don't want me to waste your time. So at the end of the day, you have to be committed and dedicated. Yeah, I definitely understand because, you know, it's hard to get to the gym. Mm, very hard, oh. very hard. And I'm, I still to this day have a hard time, like that I'm getting older. And, you know, I, I used to work out five days a week but i'm you know i'm battling with three and a four but i'm but i'm getting there though that that's the thing it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle for me and a lot of people choose to do what they want to do whether it's you know i get my nails done every two weeks i get my hair cut every week i go to the mall i spend time with this computer so it's like you can do what you want to do but it's up to you Everybody had their do's and wants. You know, a lot of people have goals. Everybody got dreams and some is not willing to uh, to make it happen. That's just like, go back to that question on how do you get the followers and stuff like that. You have to, you have to go and network. You got to get out and, and make it happen. Whether it's going to pop-ups, whether it's going to meet and greets, you know, how much you posting. That is just all type of little things you can do to, to build those followers and getting people involved in your brand. When you're having a hard time, what are some things you do to stay motivated as far as workout? Um, hard times. I suggest people, you know, go for walks, go for hikes. Um, you know, pray. You can you can walk and pray. Um, also you can go to the gym to let off some steam, you know, do boxing, uh, karate, even if it's talking to another friend or another coworker or, you know, cousin, sister, brother, but we gotta, we, we, we gotta push those excuses away though. Sometimes but also when you, you know, have a hard time, hard times is, you know, it, you know, we do have hard times, but we got to lay away from them excuses to, to where we won't make it to be so hard on us. But um, oh, I think I meant more like when you're saying um, hard time getting to the gym, you know, oh, OK, someone, OK, you, you know, what still, are some tactics? All of those were yeah, still <laughs> it's still a good above. tip. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to clarify. That's what I meant. Like when you have when you're having a hard time, like consistency oh, getting and, on the gym, gym side, like what are some ways to, that you do personally to stay motivated? The best thing for me is to go get it in the morning. That's the best thing. That's the best way you do it. If you go in the morning, you ain't have you don't have no excuses after you get off or after you spend time with your family or day night or whatever you got going on. Cause if, if you say you're gonna go out to work, something come up. Always. So yeah, like so it's energy. it's better if you it's better you go at in the morning or you go at lunchtime, but it's it's always gonna be a problem in the, if you if you if you say you're gonna go after work, it's it's always gonna be an issue. So what I tend to do is get it over in the morning. Yeah, so that's what I tell people all the time. And you won't have no hard time of getting there. You 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 have to go to bed. You might have to go to bed early. Yeah, yeah. It's just just to get up just to get up early, and and that's what I do. In, that's what I do. I make sure if I want to get it in, I'm going around lunchtime or I'm going in the morning because I know during the daytime is something going to be bound to come up, an accident on the freeway, or it might even be the devil trying to trigger you. Just, oh, no, you ain't going to work out. Go home and uh, eat or go somewhere else, another distraction. So hard times, I don't think it's it, – that, that, this plays back to what I was saying – you can't let it be a hard time because you do what you want to do at the end of the day. So we got to cut that out, get a balance, get a plan and, and, and start just basically figuring, figuring your life out. If, if it's going to be your lifestyle, change it up. 
maybe maybe say, well, I'm not going to work out on uh, the weekday. I'm going to go on the weekends or I'm going to go Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As long as you're getting something in, it's not even about even going to the gym the majority of the time. You can do something in your house. You can take a walk around the corner. It, it, it's, it's just, it's just a, a lot of excuses nowadays in the world when it comes to uh, staying healthy and getting your, making sure your body right. Because we, a lot of people tend to wait on that doctor to tell them, you know, hey, you got to do this. Now you, now you want to go, yeah, because someone told you, yeah. But and yeah, I can say even just when you overall, I guess it's exercise. What we want to say is just you know you need to make sure you just exercise in some type of way. You know, oh, a yeah. certain part of the day. It's not even that. I guess, like you were saying, not necessarily even just getting to the gym, but like I said, walking, hiking, you know, riding the bike, just doing, you know, some of those some physical, people up. some physical, some physical activity. Yeah, and 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 that's that's what it's all about. Even man, you would be surprised what you can do with five minutes. Your heart rate can go up, and and that's doing hit hit exercises. Mm. They have a five minute hit exercise. You can Google it on YouTube. Hit exercise five minutes. It's gonna pop up. You know, you know how YouTube is. It's gonna pop up. You're gonna get about four right there in that little area of the screen for five minutes. Your heart rate will go up and you'll be you'll be drenched within five minutes. You may be busy, but five minutes. I'm telling you, if you Google, I mean, you YouTube, five minutes hit exercise. That's H I T T exercise. Five minutes. That could be in your bedroom, the garage, wherever you at. You can go to a studio. It, it's simple. It, it, you just got to get it into you. It, it just got to be in you. You got any experience with yoga? <laughs> Man, when I went to, uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, when I went to um, my, my, I don't, don't, don't laugh at me, but I went to a third school, but it was my last school to graduate. So it, I don't want to make it seem like I was just, I was just bouncing around, but it, you know how life is, you know, you get hit. You, you finish. You have to keep pushing. Yeah, you got you to gotta push. But I actually was in a, the class was where you had to teach uh, Pilates, yoga, cycling, hit exercising, <clears throat> hit exercising, and every I think every if I remember every week you had to, or yeah yeah it was like every two two to two one week to two weeks I think everybody in the class had to we started at like. For example, yoga. We started yoga. Everybody in the class had to teach yoga for uh, 30, 30 minutes. So to ask you a question, yeah, I, I did it, but I don't I don't do it now. So I mean all I, I I stretch real good, but I'm real flexible. But no, I don't I don't I don't do it no more, but I have experience teaching um, a class in college and we had to go to um, we had random people who come to the class and we had to lead the class and got real good experience with it and learned, you know, the terms and the the, the positions and everything, but did no, you, I don't do that. Be, no, like, I don't. Did you think it'd be the workout huh? that it is? I said, did you think it, it would be the workout that it is when before you got into it? I knew about yoga, so I knew it was the stretching, the breathing and, you know, the positions, but it did, you know, going through it every, I think the class was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and doing that those three days out the week, because we had probably like 15 students in the class, so we had to participate all, so, so doing it, it was, it was a challenge, you know, it was, <laughs> it wasn't easy, because you have to have balance, <laughs> you got to have that willpower and, and no, no excuses. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people think it's relaxing, but it's pretty challenging. I sweat a lot more in yoga than I do with some of these other exercises. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a challenge. Like you said, 
the breathing, the balance, um, coordination. Oh, I mean, I can go on and on, but yes, a lot of people tend to think, oh, okay, I'm put my for the women, I'm gonna put my leggings on and go look cute. <laughs> but once you get there, it's it, it ain't gonna be you gonna be looking at your neighbor and looking around like, oh yeah, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So I noticed you have your books um, behind you there for the listeners. Can, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit more about? about that how you how um, my, inspired you to get into writing my first book is um phl pushing up the lifestyle for motivation fitness and life um i've always been a person to um, encourage people and motivate them and um i just had got to a point in my life i always write down sayings and stuff I hear and um, encouraging words and, and things like that. So one day I just was at nighttime. I, gr I grabbed a, um, a pack of blank white paper, printing paper. And I just started, I was like, I was like, PHL pushing up the lifestyle. And I was just like, I want to write a book. And I was just like, I was like, not a book book, but like some for, for motivation. And I just started, I was, came up with the name, Pushing Up the Lifestyle, uh, Motivation for uh, Fitness in Life. I wrote that down on the paper. And I just started looking at my phone, making sure I didn't have um, anything um, that I used to say. So I went to the phone. Found a couple of motivations. I just start writing all of them on the page, writing all on the page, and um, I just I, I didn't ne I never thought about being an author. I was just just always with me. Like you know, I send uh, messages to you know close friends and family. Um, I try to do it every day, just to encourage people and uh, make sure you know they they still breathing and give them a little lift up because you just never know how somebody is doing and what they're going through. So it, it pretty much started from there off. So just sending text messages to, um, you know, for close friends, family every morning, unless I'm on vacation and I, I don't do it, but I still will try to. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I reached out to um, a company that was, um, um, out of Atlanta doing, you know, making book journals. And we came up with, we went, we talked, spoke about what, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I always have my brand on whatever I'm doing. And shoot, it, it just took off. And I like, boom, I, 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 I swear, uh, when it came, when it launched on Amazon, it's on Amazon, PHL, Pushing Up the Lifestyle for, uh, for Motivation for um, uh, Fitness and Life. I cried because, like I say, where I'm from, you know, a lot of people don't make it. And we, you know, society will fool you and make you think, you know, um, you ain't going to be nothing. But here again, two-time Arthur, um, but I just was in a zone, just start pretty much um, writing. That's what it was at nighttime, just writing, just coming up with stuff. Um, I also have um, crossword puzzles in there with different um, exercises and uh, um, different words and things. You can check that out. But it, it's just, with me, PHL is all about helping others, man. kids, adults anybody you know you can that's that's all I'm about PHL is about helping others and getting them to know that whether it's fitness or encouragement and it's it's been working that's all I can say it's been working and I like the outcome of what's been going on um I got I have my kids book now which been doing real good 45 days Okay. Uh, a PHL pushing up the lifestyles for kids. I feel that forty-five minutes can turn into an hour, and you will never know that you did an hour because 
you know, 45 minutes. People think 45 minutes, oh, I can do 45 minutes. But then here again, you didn't got to an hour or longer just by having fun. So, and this book is, is strictly for the kids, but I, I encourage um, everybody to um, to get it. And you can do it with your kids, with the cousin, nephew, or, you know, a, a neighbor or whoever you um, you deal with that's kids. But it's it's a lot in here. Um I'm I'm big on praying and you know giving thanks to God, and I won't. I'm, I'm trying to. I took it back basically um, for when I was growing up. Um, you know, hygiene is important for for women and men. You know, just making sure your teeth is clean, brush, uh, your face washed. I, this is just a couple little things. You know, with how I grew up, like you wasn't leaving the house until. Um, your room was clean, your bed was made. Um, everything you didn't messed up was um, cleaned up. So I want I want all of the, the the new family, the new generation family, to, to take that, bring that back in life. You know what I'm saying? To where there's no cell phone, it's no iPad, no TV, and so everything is done. You know, you said your prayers. Your room cleaned up, no TV, and get you forty five minutes in. Yeah, and that's what it's about: getting that exercise in, getting that little physical education. And it, I was trying to drop it. Um, I was trying to drop the book back when COVID came, but you know, due to me doing having other things going on, I couldn't get to it. So. It, it dropped later because it would have been perfect, but it's still good right now. So I suggest everybody go get it on Amazon or you can hit me up at uh, pushing out the lifestyle at gmail.com to um, order the book or you can get it on Amazon.com uh, also. Okay. It's also where they can get merch, t shirts, and pull over and everything. Um, you can go on Instagram. Um, PHL pushing up the lifestyle and contact me um, D, DM direct message or you can hit me up at uh, PHL I mean pushing up the lifestyle at gmail.com that my website is on, getting constructed right now some construction so it's, it's down right now but it's, it's coming back up just trying to do the business side making sure I got the right people behind me and all those little business things but yeah you can most definitely hit me up um on social media or uh yeah social media to get the merch i've I've got a question i I really i want to know this and i you know i i hear you talk and it's extremely like optimistic and rooted and giving back and you talk about your upbringing and your family and the things that they've done to invest in you and then as a result of that, we see all of these different things, two books, hoodies, shirts, slides, hats, sweatsuits. And then you're saying you train people and you work. When do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you're always coming up with something else. And you're talking about the importance of eating healthy and getting the right amount of sleep. But how many hours of sleep are you getting on average? Because I'm just trying to figure out when is all this stuff happening? I'm getting six to seven hours of sleep daily. Uh, okay. It's crazy. My brother, uh, he has his slogan, no sleep. And, mm-hmm. you know, and, we, and I'm sure we all ran into Steve Harvey saying, you know, you can't sleep if you ain't making it, mm-hmm. but you do have to get your rest. Like you will burn yourself out. And, and, and I'm a, I'm a witness to that. Um, I um, blacked out in spring football one year and I know it was from not getting rest. Cause I was the year. It was my year to, to shine. So I was the gym, you know, practicing two times a day and just doing a lot and that was from God it set me down to to say son you need some rest 
and I got my rest. And I came back strong and bought out. But yeah, it's important to get your rest. Um, I do get six to seven hours um, a night. Um, but my body is programmed, though. That That's one thing that a lot of people don't know. You have to program your body. And what I mean by that is, is if you want to succeed, you have to do what it takes to get to the top. Meaning, okay, I'm setting my alarm. I'm going to sleep at nine, ten o'clock, but I'm getting, I'm setting it to six o'clock. For example, you you set it up, set your clock, so you have to set your day ahead. So at nighttime, what I would do is I have all my, I lay all my vitamins out. I lay out what I'm wearing. I pack my bag. I have my stuff in my truck already or the car. Um, I have my oatmeal already in the bag. I have my water to pour in my oatmeal by the bowl. I have my lunch in my, in my, um, my snacks and my um, fruit already packed in the refrigerator to where when I wake up and I showered that night, when I wake up, majority, all I have to do is, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, do my, my little hygiene, what I do. And I'm in the morning, microwave, eat, take my vitamins, snacking, and I'm ready to go. But a lot of people is not doing that. They just roll over, turn the TV on, Oh, uh, yeah, I got 10 minutes left. I can lay here for a little bit longer. Out of that time, you could have didn't, you could have didn't dig about 10, about two, three sets of jumper jacks for 10 minutes. Or you could have been 10 minutes in traffic to go to the gym or wherever you got to go. But it's always, it's all about setting these goals and building yourself up. And, and I believe I'm a, I'm, I'm a leader. And a lot of people need to hear these type of gems and this, this type of stuff because they don't know what to do. They following certain people on social media, but they don't have no idea that, you know, they have other things in life that they doing or they have, you know, families and uh, they other jobs and other hustles. and. But you, but you got to be willing to do this. This, this, this stuff don't come overnight or over a year. This, this, this stuff just. I'm born with this. This in my blood. My dad, rest in peace. Man, I've seen that man work three jobs. Three jobs. He would leave in the morning. I mean, at nighttime, and go work twelve hour shift come home, sleep probably for four hours and go run the barbershop, I mean the barbecue business, do that, get the business open till 1 p.m., 2 p.m., then he'll take his truck to another city to go sell barbecue. So it, it, was, it was in front of me. I just had to, I had to do my own, my own way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people is not in you. A lot of people got it to where it's like, I'm just doing my job and I'm going home. A lot of people, and I'm not content. I want more. And that's what it's, that's what it's going to be. I'm, I tell myself every day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the tip, to the tip top. And however I'm going, however I do it, that's what it's going to be. And sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Sometimes you got to motivate yourself. And we can't just sit here and 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 look at the look at the world and say you can't do it. And to go back to one of your questions about how do you gain followers? You know, I tell this to people all the time. You know, we some of our supporters. Uh, a shout out a celebrity or a, a, a rapper or a, a pastor, but you have our friend, you have your friend that you've been knowing for 20, 30 years. You can't even say, uh, 
shout out PHL or shout out uh, um, M's Barbecue or shout out this podcast. And it only take five seconds to do that, but it, but that's why I was saying earlier, if we get a group together, we can we can lead ourselves and push ourselves, our own business. It's, it's free. Mm-hmm. Why why not do it? It's free. But we but we have people that's close to us that is say, oh, today is Beyonce birthday. I love you, girl, but you got your brother or your sister that's right here or your cousin. You can do the same thing for them. And you don't even know Beyonce. Yeah. She ain't gonna never even see that she even said that. But you got your 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 classmate or your your cousin or your family member or your best friend or whoever that that's not willing to do that, but they willing to post a little baby new song or or uh, Rick Ross new album. Yeah. But, you, but you got your people. It, it's not about me being you know jealous or I'll, I'm just speaking the real. Right, because it ain't about being that, jealous. Even from where you from you probably won in so many of your family members or your friends that might do what you do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they are gonna tell you or they gonna, they, they, you would think that that's what, that's what it'd be. Because even for some of us as creators, you would say, you know, as a creator, right. people think that there's probably a lot of creators in probably each family. That may be in some people, they may have ha- half of the family are creators, but if you're the only creator in your family, and nobody knows what it's like to, to have to build that or even just understanding the value of it. That's, mm-hmm. not, that's kind of, that's where we are. They, they don't understand even just, you know, like I said, the unity, because we've had the conversation before about even just trying to create, um, a, a, like I said, yeah, a group of organized people who you need help promoting this and you just need 500 people to press like. Why can't we organize that amongst a certain group of us? If we need a thousand, mm-hmm. people just to press subscribe. This you, you need subscribers, just you know. And as you would think that, okay, like you said, it's social media, and I've even had to think about it that it's only about twenty years old. Mm-hmm. So we've developed. It's not like it's four hundred years old, like it's coming from a root of, of something else, but right over 20 over the span of 20 years we've went from myspace to instagram and mm-hmm. facebook and the mm-hmm. thing that we made sure we taught each even from some from youtube but we made sure that somehow in that culture or in the social media culture we made sure like yo don't support your people don't press like don't press right. subscribe do not press like do not comment that's been ingrained in over the past 20 years because social media is new. So sometimes right. I wonder how did we learn that as such a wide variety of or just such a large group of people to be like, okay, I know that this person is the only creator in our family, but I'm not going to support that. It's by a reason just behind pressing. I think yeah. it's, it's been there as mm-hmm. social media, like Gary likes to say, is exposing it. Um, they're waiting for you to hit a certain point of um, validation by society so they can feel like, okay, it is okay to support this person. That's how I personally feel like it's happening, but Mm -hmm. go ahead. I mean, I was just, I was wondering if you were going to (laughs) say what I was thinking and it's very similar to that, you know, like until you have that blue check Mm -hmm. or that acceptance cloud. you know mm-hmm. and and so many people are cloud chasers to use that term like I'm, I don't want to support the page that has five likes I want to mm-hmm. support the page that has five million likes right mm-hmm. even though if I supported the page with five likes they'd have six and they'd actually and, have and, a and, genuine and, yeah. conversation and, and it would probably be, yeah they would you. actually reach out to you they would actually connect but I do think it's around still that going to your 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 education a minor like it's the it's the society it's sociology Mm -hmm. it's a whole Mm -hmm. mindset psychological behind not supporting 
the quote unquote little person. Mm. You know, it's the difference between going to get your cup of coffee at that mom and pop shop versus I'm going to go to Starbucks. Starbucks mm. was alive if, without another dollar today. Right. Versus you going to that mom and pop shop that if you and I don't go and patronize them, they might be out of business by the end of the month or the end of the week. Yeah. And so right. it's up to us even having this conversation to really make people stop and think about why am I doing that or why am I not doing that? And why wouldn't I support a brand like consistent self-improvement or pushing healthy lifestyles that's really going to have that direct connect with me and, and pull mm. into whatever else I'm doing and encourage me versus like you said, Jason, Beyonce is not going to see that post. No. And even if mm. she did, she's not going to engage with you. Cause she's right. on to the next right. and probably somebody else is running her page. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's the that other thing. We're yeah. all running our own pages. Yeah. Because like you said, if yeah. you pay somebody to do it, then and why not? You would, you would pay somebody to manage your social media, especially as a business person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, but you I, have I, to go through those levels of growing. Yeah. I, I, I think a lot of people is just, they look at it as like, I have social media. They can do it. They can do whatever they want to. I, I don't. I don't care if somebody like my stuff or view it, even though I put it out there for them to. But it's more like people is on there to me just to be be nosy. Mm -hmm. and, and that's so that's and it's, the social media it's, culture now. Yeah, because if yeah, you right, because it's. It's a it's a lot of people like really you have a I have a business. I'm promoting a business. You have a normal person on there, they just putting their life on there. That's it. I went to uh to this concert. I'm drinking this new bottle. If even that I just had a new baby. So it's just like like it's it's no it's for I didn't talk to people they and they didn't tell me like I don't have no reason to be on here like I'm about to get off and and it and it's true like if you ain't have a business or you 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 bringing a message on social media and you a normal person I'm not taking up nobody I don't don't never get that twisted I love that people is on social media living their life showing their life like I I'm, I'm all for that but. Like you said, where do we where do we get it to where you said, oh, he just put this out. Let me let me like this and say congratulations. Where when we gonna get to that point? That part. Or that part. Or why, why do we? Or have even to if leave that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We understand. Have your personal page. Do your thing. But you know, it, it's it's social media, and then we also have reality. <laughs> so. It's, it's, you know, we're, we, it's hard to really go from, okay, I understand it's social media, you know, you're doing your thing, or even just followers, just to understand, right. okay, you built a certain following. And because one of the things I ran into with music, I did street performance. So I was out, you know, I, I'm even just kind of studying the mindset of certain people, you know, you from, understand what is the Facebook growing is the Instagram growing is the YouTube growing, you know, which one is, is, uh, is, you know, is growing. Right. What are we, what are right. we having results on? And it, it's easier to get people to drop money into a bucket than it is to get them to subscribe. So a person mm. can drop $20 in your bucket, but they're not real. They can look, see all your stuff to go follow or whatever. If they, you know, want to check out your music or anything, you know, it's still that connection is still not quite there. That was a study right. to kind of see. So mm -hmm. even after accumulating so many Instagram followers, you can see, mm -hmm. okay, your results. Yeah, we know how the algorithm works. Instagram probably not going to show your stuff to all your followers. Oh, they're not going to show up to really too much of anybody. You know, you just kind of figure, try to figure that out. But you do know that it, it does show certain things. It'll to show you that people saw certain things, but they just still didn't press like. It'll still show you. Oh, oh yeah, especially, especially the reels now. And it's 
it's crazy. I talked to a couple of my uh, friends, I call them brothers, but we we laugh about it all the time. You do a real, you do the reels now, you can get paid off of it. It's not a secret. So, you know, if, if anybody, if, if you out there, you pushing your brand, you can get paid from social media, just like TikTok, um, YouTube, they pan. But it's crazy. I may get 50 likes, but I have like five, 6,000 people that have used it. So it's kind of like it's not adding up. It's like, <laughs> but you also have to, you, you understand though that you could say maybe just from what you do, a majority of those are probably people you actually, because I went down mine and I was like, wow, I actually know a lot of these people personally. Just to just right. to go back and look, just to see, okay, let me see who am I dealing with. And I realized it's like, wow, the majority of these people I actually know personally. So now it's like, okay, what, you know, the understanding the shift. And of course, like I said, I did street performance. So I've got, mm -hmm. gotten thorough love from the general public. Mm -hmm. Well, understanding right. from anybody, race, uh, any sex, whatever. It don't, I've gotten the most genuine love out there in street performance on my cello got you so mm -hmm. it's it's you know you got a a, a complete playing field to kind of get a, a a view on the mindset of certain people or or kind of what's going on so that's what made me look at it like it's it's the culture of social media as a, mm -hmm. as a whole not just quite you know your i wouldn't say necessarily your friends your family or it's still a whole i guess you know, yeah I just don't want you, to. You, you have to go. You have to go beyond the the friends and the family members. Like, and, and that's what I've been telling people that come in contact with me. You have to go network. You have to go engage and meet other people. It's it's even with me. I I'll be on. Say if I go to the a trail, a hiking trail. I'm, man, I, I I I'm so friendly i'm like hey how you doing how your day going um you know you know keep it up you know pick, pick them legs up or you know just crack a little joke that's your energy yeah and and they might be like oh i like your shirt or whatever and i th there you go right there boom you already engaged so now i'm like hey here go some rubber bands on my brand phl pushing up the lifestyle you know they like huh what oh phl pushing up the lifestyle my fitness brand motivation also Oh, nice to me. I'm gonna check you out. Thank you for the band. Now you creating, you meeting other people. Now you engaging with other people. It ain't you know family and friends is a plus. Don't get me wrong. I love the family and friends, but now you have to take it up a notch. You you have to you have to start building. So that's why I was saying you have to be that walking billboard. When you have your gear on, you you gotta be you gotta walk tall. You gotta be you gotta look good. Like that's I'm I'm big on that. Looking good. I may look a little scruffy right now, but you gotta <laughs> that image is that image is is a lot. And I'm talking about when you even when you approach people, you gotta look them in the eye, shake their hand, never sit down in a chair and shake a man's hand. You stand up, you know, let them know, let them see your physique, let them see your smile. You know, you gotta you gotta like JC walk like a ball player. You know, what I mean? you gotta every approach is different. Every person you meet, you know, a, a different approach got to be. And and I always, I, man, it's crazy. I talk to my barber all the time and we just, it's crazy how we just been knowing each other a short period of time, but our thinking is just alike. Like when I walk in a room, I'm, I'm not being cocky, but I, I want people to be, look, they go, I want, when I walk in the room, I want people to know that this is me. Even if I don't have on my brand, I'm, Got a whole different appearance. My size is nice. My smile is right. Everything is on point, whether it's from the shoes and look. People gonna people gonna look at you and don't want to have a conversation. They don't want to know who you are. So you can gain a, a a customer or a follower just by that, just by your appearance. And see, a lot of people don't know that. Even though I'm in athletic gear all the time, but somebody gonna ask me, 
what you do or who you are just because I I'm 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 walking, I'm I I look good, I smell good, and I carry myself good, I'm saying hello, or you need some help. Even if I'm in Sam's, I see a, a pregnant woman or an older person. I'm I'm picking up their water. I'm putting it in their bag. That's just who I am. And they gonna they gonna have to say, why you did that or who are you or that, that's the, that's gonna start a conversation. Now they gonna remember every time they was in the grocery store or wherever you at. That I remember this man helped me with this. Your name will always ring. So it's all about getting into that public man. PHL pushing healthy lifestyle man. We try we we turning heads and we making things happen. This this the movement. It's it's been a movement and it's it's gonna continue to grow. I'm happy to be on this podcast and more to come. And like I said, we got to help each other. And with that being said, hey, I'm going to tag y'all on Friday, every Friday. Regardless if y'all tag me, I'm going to put y'all on there. I don't, I don't even care. It's just That's just in my heart. We definitely going to so have to. So every Friday. Yeah, and we appreciate and having Every you. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I've kind of, I'm, I'm working on a little something. We're actually, um, I guess for our listeners, if, you know, for the ones that, listen to us often we are going to be taking a break sometime in the future kind of go you know back to the the drawing board and you know coming back so um oh yeah it's good to do that yeah Yeah, it's good to do that man take a little time off and regroup rebuild but with me i'm i'm on a my foot on the gas i don't want to take no breaks i want to know i want people to know when i'm down i'm up and i'm trying to figure it out that that's just how that's just my energy everybody is different but i we, I, I suggest we done had the foot on the gas since january <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take yeah. a little break and come back and kind of you know bring some try to incorporate like i said some of these type of ideas and some of our episodes to where it's a lot more networking going on within the episode so yeah good, that's a couple, good. Of, couple of plans like that a couple of things ideas that we i want to manifest mm-hmm yeah. What are some of your goals with your brand, pushing a healthy lifestyle? Man, I was so close to opening a gym in 2019. Nice. Which er- everybody know around that time. Yeah, it's good. You COVID, did. COVID came. <laughs> yeah, COVID came, and it was like, ooh, I'm glad I didn't do that move. Oh yeah, I know some gyms. You know every. Life. Yeah, every gym, every gym closed down. Every gym got hit. Companies closed, and but it was that's one of my goals is to uh, open a gym and um, also um, I I have an idea. I would love to go to a YMCA and get some business with them and to pick them up maybe one or two times a day. I mean, out the week, and um, bring them to my facility and 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 work with them, train them, talk to them, and just have fun. You know, let kids be kids and show them other parts of you know being an adult, and just just network with them. Um, yeah. So the gym um, again, maybe another book. I'm thinking a coloring book. Um, and if you know any, I, 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 I got some. I got other thing. I just don't want to put it out there right now because it's, it's a surprise. But I'm, I am working on um, one, two major things right now. I want to put it out there right now. But it's, it's, it's. I, I have a lot of goals that's uh, uh, coming real soon. <laughs> that's what's up. You, if you happen to know any um, fitness trainers out here in the Los Angeles area that want to, you know, come in on the podcast or even want to network for some some training stuff, definitely let us know. Oh yeah, I think I have a, a I think I know someone that that's training out there in LA. Uh, also, uh, one of my boys in Vegas, uh, Kush Bo. He's from my hometown, Rich Rich City, Richmond, California. Would we'll definitely let let them two know about you guys. I, I have a I I, I talked to uh, Mer, Mercedes already, and uh, we 
got some couple people we want to line you guys up with, uh, make the show even more better, and 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 brand you guys over and over more, and get y'all more guests, and you know everybody work together like you just said. Everybody work together because that's that's what it's about. You know, black, white, whoever you are. I'm I'm always ready to you know work and talk and speak. You know, some some things come with pay, but you know, if it's for helping somebody, I'm always there. That's my heart, and always be for helping, helping people, kids, uh, even adults, older people. I'm always um, big on helping. But um, yeah, I got so many, like, I got so many ideals and goals. Man, I can go, I could talk about that stuff for years. But you know, you gotta make that money to make that happen. So for sure. Right. And congratulations yeah. on everything, man, on both of your books and on your your, your brand. Man, on your man, I appreciate college, that, man. College, it's, man, it's, everything. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's more to come, man. I'm not stopping, man. It's just 2020 and you know 21 was a you know it it slowed sure. stuff down, but I still was you know making things happen, but. Yeah, like I said, the footage on this gas and you know it's PHL everything pushing up the lifestyles and um, man, I'm gonna get you guys um address and um, try to send y'all a little pack or something and bless y'all uh, one time. But we'll get that handled, you know, through an email or something. Definitely, definitely, we'll chop up after the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um. We like to appreciate you for coming on, man. We appreciate your time, consideration, positive energy, the knowledge you share with us and everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot. I mean, I guess before we go, I ask, is there anything that you would like to leave our listeners with as far as that, that motivation that you're always giving out? I know you say things like, let your hustle be your mouthpiece. Our God is fixing things as a gift. Anything that you would just like to, share to the the larger public the people who are listening and liking and following got you um you can follow me on instagram phl pushing up lifestyles you can look me up on youtube phl pushing up lifestyles i'm not on facebook you know you can email me at pushing up lifestyle at gmail.com um i just want to encourage people to never never say never always say yes um it's so much to be um happy about for those that's you know doing good you got a roof over your head be thankful for that if you got water be thankful that if you got a job be thankful for that it's all about hustling though grinding it we can do so much more if we help one another um the, the what you just said god is fixing things get it's, it's gift god is fixing things god is always watching us no matter what you think or what what makes you think but if you're doing right you're gonna get blessed and and that that's a hundred percent man i i can tell stories all day i didn't have ups and downs good days bad days but one thing i always said to myself was never never get down you will never see if i had five cents in my pocket you'll never know that i had five cents i'm always smiling i'm always believing we have to start believing more than than what you think in yourself you can't be down on yourself a lot of people be down on themselves get themselves in this little ball where they you know they can't do this they saying this is that but what are you doing to change that what are you doing to get out of this cloud what are you doing to get out of that that ball those are things you have to ask yourself we want more but you're not doing more so it's like you have to check yourself sometimes we want to go on vacation but you ain't taking a vacation because you ain't working hard. You asking God why it is. You don't even post a question that you're supposed to try to figure it out, whether that's talking to somebody, going to a pastor or a mentor or a friend. 
you just got to get it together. It's no excuses. So I'm 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 leaving the show with with uh never doubt yourself. Keep keep pushing, and that that's the P for for put PHL. The P is for for pushing. We can't keep we can't be sitting back and saying I can't I can't. You got to stay pushing. You got to push. The H is for healthy. We got to stay healthy. We got to eat right. We got to get our day, our monthly and weekly checkups. You know, monthly for the with the with your doctor. You got to stop. You know, intaking all that sodium and eating bad and sweet. You know, we nobody is perfect when we doing when we doing this eating game. Nobody perfect. I'm not perfect. I have days where you know I be like, oh, forget it. But I know that next day I'm gonna burn that. I might burn two, three, three thousand calories just by moving. Yeah. So it might it's gonna get off, but that L is for lifestyle. We all want to be living on the beach, going vacation, going shopping, and getting our nails done, feet done, treatment, lifestyle flies. That that that's that's me all day. That lifestyle. When I take that break, man, I'm letting it down. I'm thanking God for everything that He gave me, everything that I've been through, and we got to keep moving, got to keep pushing. Definitely. That's right. We appreciate the tips and appreciate your time for being here. Yep. We'd like to thank and, our listeners. Um, thank. And, oh, go oh, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I was just going to say thank our listeners, thank our supporters, you know, donators, um, subscribers, followers, all of the above. And for the podcast, you can find us at americangypsy.com. We have all the audios, videos, and guest information for every episode. And you'll find links to our merch, Consistent Self-Improvement merch, which we have at luamlee.com. Um, all of that. Can, and to, uh, links to our Patreon, um, uh, uh, links to donate on PayPal. All, everything is on, at americangypsy.com. And and we also have some music you can check out under Classic Carpenter, K-L-A-C-C-I-K-C-A-R-P-E-N-T-A. And that's on Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, um, YouTube, all major platforms, and some instrumental stuff, some stuff with some vocals. And we also have some um, music that goes along with the soundtrack uh, for American Gypsy. Thank you to everyone. Thank you again. Um, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Glad, I, glad, I, glad I got the invite, man. Glad. Good people, good vibes. Appreciate it. Appreciate right. you. Consistent self-improvement to everybody. Make sure you keep pushing a healthy lifestyle. And peace. Thanks. All right. Later, everybody. Peace. peace. Deuces.